Good day and welcome back to Sucker for Love, Day to Die For. So this is going to be the fourth and final chapter of the game. I've been having a huge, huge blast with this game so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed the story, the lore, everything fun, and enjoyed seeing our goat, Dami Mommy, right here. And hopefully we finally can seal our smooch at the end of this all. That being said, let's jump on in and beat Buck at his own game, too. Oh, no, no voiceover, no title card, no nothing, just scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, something's very wrong. Did I doze off while reading? My daydreaming always turns into a regular dream when I do. <gasps> Is this what I was reading? I have the book already? Doesn't Mew give it to me? Uh, I've got to get home. I'm sorry for falling asleep in your store, but I've got to get... Oh! Hello! Someone hung themselves right next to me while I was sleeping? Is that Mew? Did Buck get to her? I feel sick, so, so sick! The floor slips under my feet and I fall back hard, loudly knocking books to the ground. I assume they're books. I can't see anything. Everything goes black. What an awful dream. Hey! Hey! No! Uh... Mew? Oh my gosh, did I break the human? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Is that Mew? Are you, you an alien? Uh, <clears throat> you... No, I'm a mysterious, sassy librarian type. Look past my aloof and distant nature and fall in love with me ironically. You, you've been dealing with Eldritch Horrors this whole time, Stardust, and you thought Mew was an alien. Stupid. An alien is playing with a corpse in front of me. An alien is playing with a corpse in front of me. This can't be real. I must be dreaming still. It's not a dead body. Promise. It's just a doll I used to interact with A doll? You. Sorry to scare you. I was just hanging it up to dry, see? Next to me. You chose it next to me. Also, hey, I'm not an alien. Shoggoths are from Earth too, you know? Shoggoths? Huh? Plural? There's more of you? Just... Walking around on Earth? We live where all the undiscovered nightmare fuel hangs out. Uh -huh. of the Pacific Ocean. That's fair. My That's very fair. Went to space before 100%ing your own planet. It's a lot harder to go underwater than into a vacuum, okay? We're like a hundred miles from the ocean. What are you even doing all the way in the countryside? Well, one day, I grew tired of the darkness beneath the waves. Mm -hmm. And upon tentacle and maw, I skulked upon your shores. One What's the reason? You can't write smut underwater. You know, that's, that's very fair. But I was expecting, like, a serious answer. Wait, why was I expecting a serious answer in this game? What a trivial reason. You know, I think that I would have heard on the news about giant tentacle monsters roaming around the country. <laughs> you think so? But I am a master of disguise and an expert on human linguistics. Yeah? Really? Out. Check out my cowboy voice. <clears throat> Howdy, partner. Oh my god. that That's your go-to example? You're not going to try speaking another language? Whoa, it's like you're a real cowboy. Stardust. Thank you, thank you. So to be honest, I only learned to read, speak, and write your languages so I could read your human books. They're our smut? superior to cosmic scriptures. You're reading our smut, aren't you? Started on the but that seems like a lot of effort. I thumb idly along the spines of books written in English. They have suggestive titles. You learned every human language just so you could consume all of our smut. I was joking when I said that. <laughs> Maybe they weren't as complex as I thought. Okay, Mew. You also make lifelike human models and learned every language that humans speak. What do you actually do with that doll? Looking around the store, a lot of these books are eldritch curious in lore. But some of these books. Big Slippery Shogoth Girlfriends Volume 2, My Little Night Gaunt, can't be the... Blah, 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 blah. Deep Ones. Okay, this is just smut. There are explicit stories about love between humans and eldritch entities. I didn't know these kinds of books even existed. Did she make all of these? And... 
Aren't you the one who's been writing my ultra dangerous reality bending ritual books? Nah. Well, uh, yeah, but I mainly just write smutty dojins and such. Okay. Sorry, I'm just having trouble wrapping my mind around that. They seem like two completely dissonant skills. <laughs> yeah, those two hobbies are completely unrelated. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I raise an inquisitive eyebrow. Wait a minute. So, you make smut books fantasizing about humans and eldritch gods meeting, and then also make spell books that would allow humans and eldritch gods to meet in real life. Wait, I know what it sounds like, but I can explain. You try to play matchmaker. Go ahead. You. Nope. I've got nothing. I'm a disaster for human eldritch love. Oh my god. You indirectly summoned reality ending gods to our realm just so you could watch them date humans. I into them, actually. Excuse me? Also, why the heck did you make the ritual so freaking scary? They're rituals for an outer god. They're all scary. All the time. Uh-huh. Well, if you're supposed to be helping me, why'd you put the most important ritual at the very end? What? The uprooting ritual? Yeah. Eldritch rituals are serious business. Doing them out of order could cause who knows what. And it's not like I've been asleep hmm. in the field here. Changing the books each time I find a potentially quicker, safer path to uprooting. Okay, that's fair, and I take I take the help. But there's only so many options when humans outright can't produce some sounds needed for many incantations. I haven't had a problem so far. Say Worcestershire sauce. Is that how you actually say that? Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce? Fuck. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah you got me there. Really, really stoking your own fires there, ain't ya? Oh, is that all? Besides, Roxy loves the rituals. She's a god, she likes She's rituals. a goddess. And the scarier they are, the faster you fall in love. That's not how that works at all. It totally worked. Roxy likes you. Like, she likes you, likes you. Oh, oh. she's got it bad. Oh, really? I can, I can live with that. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm writing fanfics of the two of you right oh. now. That's, that's a little weird. Let's see. Pass. Pining. Pining. One-sided. Do I know what pining means? It's not one-sided. It's not? <gasps> Uh-oh. Wait, I mean, well, she's really gorgeous and... I ship it. Oh, God, Mew. Wait, no. Size difference, age difference. Oh, body. oh, God. Wait, is Roxy a monster girl or a furry? Well, add them both and let the algorithm work its magic. Isn't she technically a furry monster girl? Can't she just, like, put them together? Or is, are they supposed to be separate? Roxanne Stardust. No, oh my god! Oh, Your oh no. Your name is Rockstar! <laughs> or Starzan? I, I hate both these so much with a passion. Hey, I hate to kill the fun, but a lot of people have gotten really hurt because you made this book, including me. Uh huh. I thought only good things could come from summoning Roxy to your world. She just wants uh -huh. to be one big happy family. And she's a wonderful mother. Oh, I bet she's a great mother. And she's kind. She's the <coughs> only one who didn't laugh me out of Astrid's court when I suggested that humans Astrid? and Astrid entities belong together. In fact, she agreed with me. Well, obviously she agreed with you. We made the book together. An all-in-one ritual book full of spells that would make the perfect date. Mm -hmm. Plus an abort button. The uprooting ritual. In case the human needed to be rescued from Roxy. Okay, what happened? We picked the perfect human together, too. Oh, fuck. handsome human Buck happened. Who had already spent so much time and money fruitlessly trying to contact Roxanne on his own. He flew through the rituals, started a huge family in her worship, and grew the thousand to such a size that the whole world was under Roxanne's influence. That's... I don't know if that's how that should work. They never really clicked like I had hoped, but he had his god, and Roxanne had her family. Mm -hmm. They were so, so happy and carefree. But you should never be carefree when dealing with cosmic forces beyond record. Well, yeah, it sounds like a bad, a bad idea there. At some point... Buck decided to steal a smooch outside of Black Ceremony, 
completely out of order and without consulting the ritual book first. Okay. Instead of causing some obscure ritual to fail disastrously, something far worse happened. He accidentally performed a certain ritual perfectly by uh -huh. pure bad luck. The kiss of immortality ritual. It was sealed with the smooch he stole. I feel like at this point, I have that ritual, too, because I've been through all of this still. He tried everything to reverse his immortality. When nothing worked, he changed. And became an a-hole. So many people, so many humans that Roxanne considered her children. Did he kill them? All these realities later, he's still tormenting her. I don't know if it's revenge or if he's got some other plan in mind, but... He's never going away. Oh, I'll make him go away. It's my one job now. What a big fat screw up this was. If Roxy of all the gods can't find happiness with a human, there's no hope for any of us cosmic entities. Between you and me, Roxy is the hottest one in the family by far. I don't know. Uh, the big black cat mommy in the uh, chapter two was also pretty, pretty fine. So that's why I'm trusting you with my books. Mm -hmm. I hope it's not too weird to say, but I think after seeing you time and time again that I should have given you the book to begin with. I, I wish I did too, you know. Well, I'm glad the book eventually found its way to me, but it's like a passed baton. Every leg of the sprint leading up to me was significant and worthwhile. And if I've got to pass it on again, I think I'm okay with that. But I also think I would really like to be the one that gets to cross the finish line. The one who gets to show Roxy how far we ran together. Oh, that was that was smooth. That was really smooth. Oh. Oh, so I can do it on purpose now. Wait, it's the same ritual that Buck did. Becoming permanent. This means I'll never die, no matter what, even when reality ends again. Will I end up like Buck? Holding this sinister page fills me with a uh, palpable dread. This ritual is what started all of this. It's what caused Buck to go mad. It's what turned the thousand against Roxanne. It's what made every reality a nightmare. It's what caused me to suffer and perish countless times. But it's also what brought me to Roxanne. I think this is it. I think it's the key to ending all of this for good. It's how I can stop Buck and this nightmare. Oh? Yes, that's like it. Not exactly. Once I cast this, my fate will be the same as Buck's. There's no take-backs. But I have the heart to live with what I'm given. No take-backs needed. I'm ready to accept what great heights and lows eternity has in store for me. If you give love, it comes back. If I embrace eternity, eternity will embrace me. Valid. Alright, now I'm really pumped. No more baton passing. I'm going. Are you coming too? You come on. Um Yeah, yeah, I know that I'm scary too. But I can't just run into the unknown like humans can. Shuggots aren't okay. like you are. I'm the only one that even left the sea for crying out loud. Okay, well be an even bigger hero now. Don't worry, you don't have to come. I have your book. That's all I've needed so far. That's all I'll need now. Go get him, Stardust. Oh, I'm gonna try. No sign of anybody. Uh that is not a good sign. That's that's what place I've died. This could be the end of my life as a mortal, couldn't it? All in all, I have to say it's been a blast, and whatever's ahead, I know there'll be something to love. Something's gonna go wrong. I I don't know if it's actually supposed to be what I do. Butterfly con the web. Weird. That's still there. Buck, Roxy, it's, it's quiet, too quiet, whoa, what is going on outside the windows now, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, we're good, we're good, is it just cosmic entities out there, cosmic destruction, my door's back, thank god, Buck's gonna be in here. Snuff you. 
Oh wait, I need the spray bottle. What am I hearing? Hearing like twinkling noises. It's all good, I guess. Sorry it took me a while to start drilling this time. Oh I was too anxious to fall asleep. Roxy. So this is it. Buck is the only remaining member of the thousand. Allegedly. Are you ready for what's to come? With you, baby, I'm ready for anything. It's only hitting me just now that the kiss of immortality thing. Isn't it kind of like asking to marry her? Promising to be with her forever, sealed with a kiss, no take-backs? Holding this book feels like fumbling with an engagement ring in my pocket. Oh, you got it, Stardust. Stardust? Are you alright? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Um... Nervous? <laughs> you don't even know. The butterflies in my stomach are building to the point of unbearability. Just as I'm about to swallow them down, a breeze blows into my room, carrying a foul stench that fills my lungs. I fall over, retching. My eyes sting and water uncontrollably, and I have to actively fight the urge to hurl. What is that smell? Did something die? No, something didn't. Uh-oh. He's here. I can sense him. You got the book? Uh-huh. Got it. Now or never. I prop myself up on one knee and open the book to the Kiss of Immortality ritual, revealing it to her. Kneeling? <laughs> you don't have to kneel to me for my ritual. Oh. Oh. Oh, Roxanne, are you blushing? Did you get that? Moo. Moo. Okay, it's Moo. Okay. I thought I had something to say planned, but my mind is completely blank with nerves. Say something. Anything. Roxy, I, I only exist because you dream about me. Without you, there'd be no me. And when I look back on my life and all the things that I got to see and do, it takes me forever to say thank you, so I will. Oh? Buck's inside the house. I've got to get going. Think about it, okay? I'm gonna get started on it, but I won't finish it if you don't say yes, okay? Okay. Finally, here we go. One versus one. I've got only one ritual to get through. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, wait, where's... where's Roxy? She's not in the room anymore, okay. What do I have to do for this thing? Uh, to perform a kiss of immortality, simply kiss Roxanne in the presence of a greater rock bloom. There is no greater rock bloom present. Stand in a room with Roxanne and at least 1,000 rock bloom flowers. Draw this symbol. Well, let me, uh, make sure that symbol's on the board real quick. I think I blew... yep, there we go. Uh, flower will will bloom within seven minutes. Eternal life awaits you. Make the most of it. Okay, so the flower should be blooming. I think she's supposed to be in here, but it's bugging. Okay. Uh, this section of the book has been compiled from the deaths of your past lives in order to ensure your current incarnations arise as long as possible. Your suffering in this place has earned you this advantage, so adhere to the instructions precisely. Uh, okay. Cloud of flesh flies. If you hear a loud buzz in our sudden swarm of flying insects, flee. Now move quickly and deliberately away from the room you sp spotted the bugs until you can no longer see a single fly. The flies will not allow far, or not follow far, but to wary once you, they caught your scent. They will likely be another feeding frenzy within minutes. <gasps> frick, frick, frick. Go, go, go. Go. Run. Run. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Further away, I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. I don't see any flies. Alright, let me read the next one real quick. So flies, run away. Check windows frequently. In the event of seeing the flock of crow-like creatures outside, immediately flee to an interior room without windows. Okay. Oh, flies are back. Go, go, go. Go, come on. Screw these freaking flies, man. So flies and crows now. Great. Oh, frick. Go. Get that way. I'm gonna ride a buck at some point, aren't I? Okay, so the flies are completely gone now. Uh, they are not crows. Their arrival will be silent, but their number is great. 
definitely hearing whispers. That's not good. So I'm still in panic. Loudly, loud noise, or you're only in salvation. Keep a running clock in your hand. Running clock? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where do we get a running clock? Where do I get a running clock? Oh, freaking windows again. Okay, no windows here. Uh, do this a full minute. Hush hungers for your sign, starve. Okay, so I have to. Work. Oh God! Gas. Uh, seek higher elevation, I guess. Oh, that's actually... Oh, wait, windows. Windows. Okay. I don't have... I didn't see Hush of the Woods. If you feel a sudden sense of dread in your heart begins to race as your natural prey instinct, hide in a room with only one entrance and no open windows. Once inside, face the only way in. Do not look away. Stig... Stitching... Vision is dark... Vision is dark and catch a glimpse of trees. going here. I'm going in here. Wait. What's in here? I don't I don't know what's going on. Face the door. Uh, do not look away. So if your vision is dark and you catch a glimpse of trees where there shouldn't be, the black woods are forcing Renite upon you, all living things within it. The includes nocturnal predators, find any lit candles. Lit candles. Fuck. Go, 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 go to the room, go to the room, go to the room. Oh, dang it! Oh, it didn't take me that far back. Lit candles, lit candles. We're fine, there's lit candles. Silent morning birds chirping means you've survived your artificial night. There's lit candles. Okay, they're staying away. I'm good. Call the sound of the knock. Listen carefully for the direction of this knocking. Move slowly towards the sound. If another sound distracts you, do not follow it. Okay, knocking, follow. If you notice corpses rising from the fields of bloom, only uh, the second floor balcony is only sanctuary. Okay. I just read that. Second floor balcony. Oh. Go, 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 go. Second floor balcony. Oh, uh, let's see one here. Uh, they will not last long in this world and will starve quickly. Wait it out. There may be stragglers. Your death. Okay. Just wait it out. Wait it out. This is. This is a lot of stuff going on. Okay, they collapsed. What's the next one? The walls of force begin creaking loudly. The house itself has been given life. Firstborn's hunting. Uh, if you hear the loud cry, flee to the heart of the woods. Okay, go, go, go. Heart of the woods. Go, 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 go. Heart of the woods. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Screw you, firstborn. I think there's actually two going on right now because the knocking was one too. Uh, do not emerge until the candles blow out on their own. Okay. I I gotta stay here. I can't go to the knocking yet. Just just focus on the candles. Focus on the candles. <sighs> Only a minute and a half left. Minute and a half left. We can do this, guys. We got this. We are pro gamers right here. All right. Come on, candles. Burn the hell out. Please, burn away, burn away, burn away, burn away. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Oh, I'm stressing. I'm just gonna stare at the, I'm just gonna stare at the candles. What could go wrong? What is that noise? It says be observant. The candles are still lit, though, so that's an issue for me. Don't no candles blow themselves out. Am I am I gonna be here till the very end? Just walk. don't turn around. Don't turn around. You hear it. Don't turn around. Just 
just chill, just chill. First one screaming, yep, yep, it's fine. What the frick is going on? Just stay, stay with the candles. Stay with the candles. It's, it's, that's all it says to do. Not merge until the candles blow out on their own. God, I hate these things so much. Okay, should be the last one. Okay. Rel it's okay. We're almost there. Ten seconds, ten seconds. We got this, we got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Alright. The flower should have bloomed by now. I just need to get back. What? That Roxanne scream! I've got to get back! Oh, damn right we do. Better not be hurting our Roxanne. I will kill you myself, Buck. I swear to God. Like, don't even think I won't. Like, it'll be on site. Right now. Go, go, go. Buck, you better leave her alone. There's the flower. Oh! Buck, you look great. What are you doing to her? Scaring her awake. No. Now that you're here. Easier. No. I want to be so angry, but I can't be angrier than I am frustrated and confused. Why? Why would you do this? Tormenting us isn't going to change a thing. Why can't you just face the reality that you're immortal already? The reality is that I'm immortal. I couldn't care Oh, less. you are a piece of crap. If the eternal sleeper wakes up, the end. Immortality or not. Yeah, but you survived every time. I vaguely remember reading something about that in Muse Library once. A god that dreams all the other gods into existence, and by extension, all of their realities. Wait, that means... You're, you're talking about ending everything. Everything! Everything! How is torturing Roxanne supposed to do that? Why are you punishing her? To make her scream loud enough that the sleeper hears it. Oh. If she doesn't, no. maybe another god will. Any oh my god. god learns that I exist will start having nightmares too. Oh. So I'm in their head. It's sheet clutching nightmares forever. I'll never stop. What is wrong with you, man? I only need one screamer. I'll find them eventually. I'm human. The ultimate persistence predator. Just die, man. Or let, like, let, like, become happy or something. And you would have gotten away with it, too. If it weren't for this meddling cat. Excuse me? Hello, handsome. What? Auntie Nyan Nyan? Threatening to terrorize my very sisters and granddaughters the way you so tortured my niece? <laughs> I respect that. My silly flock of hands could use a good browbeating. What? But trying to speak to the eternal sleeper? Come now. That is the duty of a god, oh, not a oh, oh, oh. playing pretend. I will articulate to you the difference. Okay, Nyan Nyan. What a lucky break. I can complete the kiss. Wait a minute. If Auntie Nyan Nyan drags Buck into her dream, she's going to start getting nightmares too. Buck's going to end up in the mind of the god who talks directly to the eternal sleeper. That's exactly what he wants. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Good, he's free. It's now or never. I've never had a bad dream in my life, but I've had dreams so wonderful that it woke me up right at the best part. And if I become immortal, I'll survive through her waking up this time. Roxanne, I don't have the time to say it now, but uh, but will when I have forever to s say it. Aww. You've already said it. Time after time. I love you too. Aww. Gasp. You're... Okay with this? Mm. Aww. Was that a second kiss of immortality? <laughs> <laughs> no, just a regular one. Aww. Stardust. Since whoa, I whoa, you, where are we going? What's going on? Where are we going? I wondered how I could be so lucky. How you could have appeared so suddenly. Aww. Like a bright star in the darkest sky. This is adorable. I think it's because, despite everything, I never stopped believing in good. That someone like you had to exist somewhere. And you did. 
You Whoa. are the good that I knew had to exist somewhere in this infinite cosmos. Stardust. You're the most wonderful thing I could have ever dreamed up. Aww. <gasps> no, did she wake up? Thank you, my twinkling stardust. Grandpa! Oh no. You're crying. <sighs> Did you have another uh. bad dream? No, John. Do you want to hear about it? What? But uh. you never want to talk about your dreams. I had my reasons. I didn't want to fill your head with fear of humans. Now, I can tell you about love. I know she's, um, in the first game. Love? So is she. For humans. Hard to believe, I know. <laughs> But I believe in time, you just might come to love So is this a prequel then? To the uh, other one? Ew! <laughs> oh, keep it down, Aww. ladies. Sleep well? <laughs> oh. Wait a second. What, what's going on here? You know, out of oh every my God. artist I've met, you've been the biggest pain in my ass. <sighs> Sorry. Are we just floating here now forever? What? What's on his side? Something. Where are we? Space between dreams. Get comfortable. I mean, what if I don't want it? But there's something on his side right here. I want to get it. Are you going to try to kill me? You wish. We just get to sit here and stare at each other until the next dream starts. Oh, really? That's going to be annoying. Especially because you are an a-hole. What's coming off of him? I'll get the bookmaker. Or I'll get caught by Nyamathotep. Or I'll go back to my original plan. You can't do any of that now. I'm here, and I'm not going away ever again. Do you even know what you're in for? Infinite, cruel, eternity. Will it be cruel? I think in a truly infinite cosmos, you find exactly what you're looking for eventually. You looked for cruelty in a cosmos of infinite volumes and found it in no short supply. But you know what, Buck? When the dream starts again, I'm going to run barefoot through the grass. I'm going to watch scary movies. I'm going to love, be joyous, move, learn, cry, and feel so much that all the bad is worth it. That's what I did when I was mortal. That's what I'll do now. That'll end. The clock is ticking on how long you'll still be able to experience any of those things. Nope. The clock was always ticking, Buck, and when it runs out, ashes to ashes, stardust to stardust. But there's n things out there worth seeing before that happens. Things that make it all worthwhile, I swear it. You know what? Come on! Wait, you can grab him? Where are you taking me? Oh, what, why are we even entertaining him? This void is infinite, right? Then I bet there's an infinite number of things that make life worthwhile, too, even out here. Stop me when you see it. Whoa. We're just traveling through the cosmos? Just living our best life? Huh. What's going, what's going on? Where are we going? Can, can I control this? Out? No? Oh, that's the end. Okay. Dedicated to my brilliant wife, Caroline Hunter. You make me a real sucker for love. That's adorable. Stop. Oh. There's more. Hold up. Buck? Did you come to your senses? I'm speechless. No? You've never tried this before? And I'm not any closer to seeing it all. Oh, looks like a new dream is finally starting. Ready to go duke it out again? Maybe later. Oh. I think I prefer to stay out here. Oh, he's not gonna come back. It's 
peaceful. Oh. So even Buck can learn. It'll take me a while to see everything. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Buck. Roxanne, I can't wait to see what you've dreamt up now. Whoa. Come outside, Stardust? Whoa. My house isn't jacked up anymore. It's actually all in one piece. Oh, wait, wait, wrong way. Wow, that's beautiful. This way. Oh, Roxy. Am I coming to you? Oh, my house. Wait, wait are my siblings going to be here finally? <gasps> Woof! Ah! Oops. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm Nani. Nanny, how many oh, times they're all have we here. ambushed her? Of course she'd be jumpy. Oh, they're, everyone's here. I said I was sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to shout while I jumped out. <laughs> Why did you have to jump out at all? For fun. Nani, Billy, Kid, you're all here. And none of them have the stare. Like, of course, silly. Where else would we be? It's not like we can just leave the woods. What? But now that they've pretty much covered the whole planet, we can go everywhere. Oh. I can finally go shopping in Paris. So the good, this is the good ending, right? And I'll be able to go on a world tour. My fans will <laughs> love it. And oh, Billy, you simply must come with me on tour. As a bodyguard? I'll need a bodyguard. And you're perfect for the role. <laughs> I'd rather eat my shoe. <laughs> Billy. Stop being cranky. She's always cranky. That's Billy. It's cool. Sorry. I didn't get enough violence oh out of my system before peace broke out. Well, I mean, maybe you should have. Oh, yeah. You should see outside, Stardust. Everything's different. It's a whole new world waiting to be re-explored. <laughs> no reason to ever come back to this old place. So do they have their memories then? Ugh. Can we please get out of here already? The wallpaper's peeling, the floorboards are rotten. Hey. I'm pretty sure I just saw a rat the size of a chihuahua run by. This is my home. Not enough of this gross old house to last a lifetime. Leave my home alone. This is her childhood home. Yeah, thank you, Billy. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, it's, uh, nice. Yeah, Nani, it is. Wait, wait, wait. You knew that she lived here? I spent... Forever oh trying my to figure God, that out. Kid. Why did you help me or, or leave me a note or something? I was your boss. Where are you, kid? What's your one rep max on bench press? Oh. Guys, if it's all the same, I might take a moment to say goodbye to this place. I'll be outside in a sec. <sighs> no worries. The rest of your family oh. already got their chance to pack up and say their goodbyes. Only fair you get your turn. Oh, okay. My family's here too? Oh, yeah. They're toast outside. Your folks are, like, really hitting it off with Roxanne. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Color me shocked. Who could have possibly expected that a goddess of fertility and a married couple with ten kids would get along? That's a, that's a valid point right there. But, like I said, no rush. Especially if you don't want to get caught in the crossfire oh, no. of their grandkids discussion. Oh, no. Take all the time you need. We'll wait for you. Thank you, guys. The trio step out into the daylight, leaving me to what will likely be my last goodbyes to this house. Oh. Let me let me go see what else there is here. So the butterfly's still there. Jingling gets louder. Is this Nyan Nyan? Who am I following? Everyone's waiting for you. Uh oh. Am I doing the bad thing right now? Well now, uh -oh. are you just full of surprises? When you first stumbled into these woods, cheeks uh -oh. wet with tears of rage, your only desire was to see these twisted trees burn. Uh oh. Did I mess up? For a moment, I thought you'd forgotten your quest so easily in exchange for a flutter of lashes and a flash of pride. Uh. It seems I may have misjudged your resolve. A mistake I do not often make. Wait, no. Those seeking to destroy the Black Woods inevitably become compelled to worship it. That oh, boastful no. promise is printed in every version of this contemptible book. Will 
will you prove them liars and burn them down in a fit of mortal defiance? Mm. Or will you prove them right and spend your immortal days simpering at my niece's cloven hooves like a love-struck fool in the very Eden you swore to raise to ashes? Oh, no. The agony of indecision suits you, little matchstick. Though I do hope you choose to burn it all down. I've never cared for happy endings. Or goodbyes, for that matter. <laughs> Ta-ta. What is this? Uproot heartburn. I... No. I... I'm not doing it. I... I want to see what both endings are. Let me... I want to see the... Let me... Do the darkening first? Let me do the dark ending first. Let me, wait, let me verify I can come back here. Okay, I can come back here. So, let's get the dark ending first. I apologize immediately for this. I basically just burned the whole world down, didn't I? Oh, yep. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, no. Oh. I regret everything. Truth end? Is that the real one, then? Oh, wait, wait, let me see the other one. Let me see the happy one. I want to see the happy ending. All right. Straight outside we go. Not listening to the bell. Don't care about the bell. Thanks for playing. True ending. Okay, so this is the real ending. Thank God. Oh, you've got the little cultists in the background. And just eldritch horrors running around. Oh. Thank God that this is the true ending of this game. Because this is actually... Adorable. God. Really did love playing this game. This is really cute. I might I might go back and play the other ones. Either way, this was a lot of fun to play through. I really, really enjoyed this game. It's cute, it's adorable. It obviously it has its adult uh themes to it, but overall it was a lot of fun. The voice acting was well done, the artwork was amazing. Overall, the story, really, really great. I really enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. I hope you guys love the game. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's available on Steam. It's Like I said in the first episode, it's like 12 bucks. Really, really great game. Um, if you enjoyed my commentary, my playthrough, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe. helps me and my channel grow. With that being said, I hope you stick around for whatever comes next. And have a lovely day.